The way that we see ourselves is that we invest, facilitate, and build capacity to continually advance Puerto Rico economy and the well-being of the citizens. And we are focusing our efforts in achieving that mission by creating innovation building enterprises, working science and technology, and working with our industrial base that is still represent, you know, so any, depending on the year, anywhere between 48 to 50 percent of our domestic product. Um, we have a clear vision for Puerto Rico, and that is that we need to become an innovation hub that is uh, recognized at a global level, and we are going to shift that by being able to attract, retain, and develop scientists, entrepreneurs, and companies that reflect world-class creativity and competitiveness. Kina? How, how are you going to do that? Uh, how we are going to do that? We have identified um, several initiatives that reflect the core competencies that we have in Puerto Rico and the skills that we can use uh, to uh, develop that. One of the first initiatives is that we recently established a consortium for clinical investigation. Okay, and the purpose of this center is that we are going to be the one-stop solution that a sponsor of clinical investigation needs to come to Puerto Rico. We are working with the Street School of Medicine. This is an effort that I believe reflect the kind of environment we need to do to have in Puerto Rico to move forward this economy, which is everyone working together in the same direction. This was an effort in which we brought the sponsors, the clinical trials units, and the, universe, um, the different universities that have medical schools, and together with the trust and under the advice of Pricewaterhouse, we are putting and implementing this office that is going to facilitate what anyone want to do a clinical trial that they come to the consortium and we will facilitate both the front end as well as the business development. Yeah, um, and yeah, just, let me just say, um, the good thing is right now the FDA recommends to have 16% Latinos in clinical trials. In general, the U.S. is at 1%. So this is a tremendous opportunity for Puerto Rico. Uh, the, the second one is that we just announced that Sebastián Vidal is here. Sebastián is going to be talking in detail about the new initiative, which is Parallel 18. And this is a global initiative to bring companies to Puerto Rico and create a new culture of entrepreneurship in Puerto Rico. It's a program that not only has the mentorship, the coaching, the acceleration that we need for new companies to start here, but also have uh, initial capital investment equity, no equity at all for the companies of $40,000. We hope to have our first 40 companies by the month of April. I will stop there. Uh, the other one is that we, um, and Carola mentioned, Puerto Rico is in a unique position because we are part of the United States. Uh, we have access to the funding and licenses of technologies of the United States, and unfortunately, we have not used Puerto Rico for you to have an idea just on the small business innovation uh, research grants and the technology transfer grant during the last 10 years, as of the last year, the government had uh, give away in awards over $33 billion. Puerto Rico, in 10 years, only access $1.5 billion dollars out of that amount. That basically is almost zero when you round the numbers. So one of the things that we're working on is we want to start creating the ecosystem that provides that. We did the first step in the summer and that is if you have a company or you are a researcher that have that money in an SDTR or SDIR grant, because if you are located in Puerto Rico, you get it on matching one per one of the hundred percent. So that up to $150,000. Junior faculty, uh, we are again creating a culture of research in Puerto Rico. We are providing grants up to $70,000 for the, to do the first, uh, their, their research. The other one that I want to mention, and some of you may participate in the prior uh, conversation, uh, we have a parcel of land which is Science City. Science City is the place in which you have significant amount of benefits by operating there. Okay, not only did you get, as Mark mentioned, your R&D grant, but in addition to that, in all the projects, especially construction projects, if you are planning to have a research lab or you know, a research activity or a biotech manufacturing or a process of excellence, 
you don't have to think twice. It is a place in which you get all the benefits, including the grants, but you don't pay any taxes on your construction. So think about it. that is no uh, sales tax or anything which I, I, you know, immediately you just save a 10.5% or 11.5% on your construction. And it has the unique benefit that for companies that are established there, the researchers' salaries are accepted for personal income tax up to $250,000. I'm going to stop here. We will talk more about that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>